the coaching change then happened with coach chambers he ends up having to resign was that something that shocked you to any degree like i know there was obviously the investigation going on different stuff happening but did you still expect him to become your coach for your next year of college basketball were you kind of expecting a change how did you take that all in just walk us through that off season for you yeah um it really came out of nowhere uh to honestly because we had heard about it in the summertime like you know we we had heard about the investigation being done guys had gotten like interviewed by like internal affairs and everything and yeah like you know we had gone through that during summer session so it was like they interviewed people they talked about it for a while and then we heard nothing about it for like a while so everybody on the team just assumed okay it was over um so we start you know working out and like getting into like official practices and everything and everything's like normal to us so then chambers he had made a like a leadership council it was like um five of us and and like he took us out uh he took us out to like dinner and he was talking to us and he was just like he was emphasizing like yeah you guys are going to be you know so good this year um and like make sure you guys stay together no matter what and like he kept saying things like you guys and all that and i'm like why do you keep saying like yeah we like us like we're like i don't know what he's like yeah so he was talking like that like the whole night and he had he had briefly brought up at the end like yeah uh y'all remember the investigation from the summertime we were like oh yeah yeah like that's done right and he was like yeah no they're still kind of on me about it or whatever blah blah we were like oh really oh sheesh so it was probably the next day we had went we talked to the the ad and the assistant ad and we were like yeah should we um should we like be worried about anything um like you know like he he's gonna you know he's still gonna be our coach right and you know like they were like yeah yeah they kept it kind of vague and um they just kind of they kind of said no official decision like had been made you know we didn't you know we that that they were looking into it mm -hmm. but you know, they did want him to to stay and still be there with us and stuff like that. And we were like, all right, cool. Yeah. And then literally like the next day at practice, uh, he he had told us all that he was that he was going to resign. And um, it hurt. It definitely hurt. I feel like I, I really feel for the guys that were there for longer than me, like John and Jamari and, and like Miles who had been committed there, you know, since early in high school, um, like guys that built up years and years of a relationship with them because, you know, for him to, you know, be gone like that so close to the season and, you know, for, for people to question, his character and like the type of person he was and like, you know, it, it really, it was really, you know, sad to see that everything like ended like that and that the people were viewing him like that, but he, he was like one of the, one of the nicest, like realest guys that I had, that I had been around. And like, he was a coach like that. I hadn't really, had before in terms of like he would bring he'd bring players into his office and like like just want to talk about like things that weren't basketball like and it was and it, it took me like a while especially like during my red shirt year like I was like he'd want to have a meeting and then he didn't want to talk about basketball and I was like I've never had a coach like that like that you know just wanted to talk about what was going on in in life and everything like that just wanted to really talk to you like 
as a person. So it was definitely like a, a more personal relationship with him. And, and it, it was really sad to see him go, especially when I had just become like one of the lead guys, one of the captains and stuff. And I was like, ready to, you know, ready to play for him, ready to, ready to do, you know, ready to bring us back to the tournament. That was the goal, you know, since it had been taken from us the previous year. Do you think he still should have been your coach and would you still have wanted him coaching you that season? Uh, Yeah, I still wanted him to coach me that season for sure. That was our, he was like our heart and soul. Like he was the one who was, you know, motivating us. He was the one that kept us focused on playing Penn State basketball. Like I can't deny that he made a mistake, you know, and that he, he made a mistake that looked really bad when you like, explain it like in the media and stuff like that and I I see how the school couldn't couldn't like tolerate having their their program viewed like that or whatever you know but as players we felt like yeah it was more it was more about protecting the school's image than us um, because when you asked all the players, like, did we want him to stay? Like, obviously we wanted him to stay. And like, how did we feel about him? Like we, we knew what type of person he was and stuff like that. So it it was like, we felt like it was just a, a, a decision that the school made for themselves at the end of the day. And especially at the time that they made it like they could have we felt like they could have done that in the summertime like they yeah. we felt like they could have done that before official practices started and everything like that and we kind of felt betrayed that it that they let it drag out for so long till a couple of weeks before the season starts and now we're we felt like they did it so we would all kind of be stuck there uh, uh, essentially like that we couldn't you know do anything like you know we were just there for the season and we had to you know make it work um but yeah it was it was it was definitely hard to see him go because yeah we we all wanted him to stay but um yeah it was just it was just a shame that it that it ended like that have you been able to have a talk with them since you moved on? Like, have you guys talked at all? And if so, like how often, how common, what was the talk even like when you guys talked after? Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we, we still talk to this day. Um, like he hit me up throughout that season. Mm -hmm. He hit me up after, uh, after the season, he still hits me up today. Um, you know, after a big game or something, he'll text me and we'll text back and forth and stuff like that just like about you know what my experience is here and you know he'll he'll tell me that he's proud of me and that you know he loves seeing what I'm doing and he loves uh seeing that I'm at a place where I can I can you know show all of what I can do uh to to the world really so I mean yeah we we've definitely been in contact he'll hit me up at least like like three like like two three times like a month like we like we'll we'll talk so yeah it's definitely it never really stopped you know having a, a good you know personal relationship with him and I feel like that uh, spoke volumes just about you know how much he did really care about us and want to want to see us succeed. If he was to the coach today, do you think you and potentially like I said you can't speak for them obviously, but potentially mine would have a better chance of staying. Jamar had a better chance of staying. Like. Could you guys have still stayed together for the past last year? Obviously, you still were there, but then this year as well. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I had no intentions of of leaving, honestly, uh, before he got fired. So we would have had a better chance of staying together, for sure. But yeah, it just that whole year ended up just being weird. It was just yeah, it, it was kind of thrown off. That, that start at the beginning just kind of, yeah, it just kind of threw off kind of the things that we had planned for that year, how we saw it going.